I know y'all brothers and sisters already know what the f*** going on. <laughs> now we have probably talked about this previously in probably more than a few of my Sifu vids I've made even recently. Now Slow Clap is about to get their Olivia Newton-John on, some 40 years or so behind the curve. Except we ain't wearing leotards and headbands, y'all know, 80s-ish. I will not wear this, I promise you. Now Slow Clap announced some months ago that there was going to be a physical release for Sifu in May and within the last couple of days they've been letting us know that it's coming up soon. We're less than 10 days away now. The physical edition is going to be called the Vengeance Edition and it'll basically come with everything we got in the Digital Deluxe Edition but in physical form plus a steelbook. Makes sense? So it's gonna come with a steelbook case, which is already a reason to buy it for your boy. I love steelbooks, but y'all didn't ask me that, so uh, moving on. It's gonna come with three lithographs, the Art of Sifu 48 page art book, and a digital soundtrack, which by the way is fire if you haven't heard it. And there will be a PS4 and a PS5 version of this Vengeance Edition, so we'll all be able to get our hands on it, which is lit. Now the Vengeance Edition will be coming out on May 3rd and will cost 50 beans, which I gotta be honest with y'all feels like a bit of a steal. It's already costing 14 to 15 dollars less and you get more with all this extra content not to mention this game is probably going to be in the running for GOTY or at least should be some kind of contender even if it doesn't win it would make sense for it to be in the running and trust me I'm not just saying that because I made a ton of vids on it this, this game is fight but what's crazy about all that is that's that's not it so if y'all been watching my sifu vids for a while whether it be the gameplay ones or the essay ones you know i've brought up the upcoming dlc on several occasions if y'all follow slow clap on twitter where they be tweeting like canaries or robins or, or whatever local birds y'all got wherever you are they confirm that there will be a roadmap that they actually just dropped today and that we're about to go over right now so this roadmap is about the dlc that's going to be coming out over the next few seasons and the first one is in the spring and it will drop the same day as the vengeance edition beautiful right i know so it'll be coming with the new difficulty options which we knew was confirmed advanced training which i hope means what we were talking about before about having a room where you can just practice on a bunch of enemies instead of only fighting one i think that's what that is but we'll see and of course outfit selection now y'all can see that the three new modes will be student disciple and master so you'll get to beat it on all three difficulties if you want to or just choose one hear me it's your world but clearly the most fiery part is this new wuda outfit now if y'all beat the game y'all know how you were supposed to be reaching wudan you know how you did it i won't spoil it if you haven't but there's two different endings and one of them is technically the right one and that's what this outfit represents this white outfit it's got gold accents it's fire you know what i mean like it is it is what it is it's just fire so i can't wait for that now moving on to the summer season there's gonna be two new additions it's gonna be the advanced scoring and the gameplay modifiers now the advanced scoring i don't know what that means uh y'all have seen me i'm in the middle of doing my high score series and i want y'all to do that again it's beating each level without dying without using focus and get a high score the next one though is the gameplay modifiers and the gameplay modifiers are apparently that you'll be able to set it up with no pennant one health point no guard stronger enemies a golden staff which sounds fire all skills unlocked and bullet time which bullet time i don't know what bullet time is but if it means that everybody's gonna be faster that's gonna be nuts so i think that's gonna be crazy it'll add to the difficulty and there'll be new outfits more new outfits not to mention y'all yeah, these gameplay modifiers I promise you, you're gonna see a whole lot more seafood challenges on YouTube, trust me. There's gonna be challenges for all these, and I'm pretty sure you can choose one. You don't have to do them all at the same time, or you could do them all at the same time, probably. We'll see. Point is, summer gonna be lit. Now in the fall, there's gonna be an added replay editor, which is kind of tough. That will we'll be able to make hella highlights that way. And there will also be more modifiers added and more new outfits, which is gonna happen in all four of these, as you'll see in this last one. And this last one is the winter one, a new game mode called Arenas. Now, I believe this is the gauntlet mode that we were all looking forward to. And we were all saying that we wanted, where you just put us in a room and we just fight for hours upon hours, try to get the highest score, or just try to hold your chain attacks or your chain finishers, however you wanna call it. You know, it's just another way to practice but also just have a lot of fun just a fun game mode there will be new modifiers again and new outfits like i said before so this is really shaping up to just be a gold mine or a diamond mine you know i've been talking about 
this game for over a year since they announced it and it's only exceeded expectations and it looks like Soul Clap is gonna continue that trend even after release so it's litty at this moment in time we don't have release dates for the fall summer and winter ones but we do have a release date for the spring one again it's coming out the same day as the vengeance edition so may 3rd we'll be able to see that first spring dlc and remember it's all free which is always great so we don't have to pay nothing extra we just get to do the update and have that much more content now before i sign off on that ass remember when the deluxe edition for sifu came out and people who bought the deluxe edition were supposed to get it 48 hours early but people who bought it on playstation weren't really able to because the playstation store was having issues and whatever whatever so they ended up only really being able to download the game by the time that they would have been able to play it if they had just bought the standard edition now you wouldn't have gotten all the extra stuff like the art book and soundtrack so it was still worth buying Buying. But because of this little mishap, Soul Clap promised the Lux Edition users that they would give them a gift. Well, that gift is this John Wick looking ass suit. Red button down, black tie, black jacket, black pants, black shoes. Y'all know if you've seen John Wick you know what he looked like basically this is a suit that people who had the deluxe edition they will be able to get this this is their gift i think they're the only ones who will be able to get this but of course y'all know pc modders have already made this kind of thing so people on playstation i'm sorry that you won't be able to get this i know I'm, i got my hand on your shoulder trying to console y'all like it's gonna be all right and y'all are like you get your fucking hands <laughs> off me <laughs> but nah for real it's really all right because honestly I personally think the Wuda outfit that everybody gets looks even better than this one. I think this one's cool, but I probably wouldn't even really use that one. I'd use the Wuda one way more. I might use this suit one just because it's there and I want to try different outfits. But really, I don't think it's too much of a loss, but it also makes sense because they had to give them a gift. They had to make up for that because people were excited to play 48 hours early and they weren't able to. So the only way to fix something like that because you can't fix time is that you just give them something for that issue you know what i mean but that's all i really have for y'all today i'm gonna catch y'all on the next vid y'all see me fighting the Elden ring bosses or whatever and i still got hella seafood content coming especially with this dlc so i hope y'all enjoy this vid and i hope y'all don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the afro yonko crew and i'm gonna catch y'all on the next vid all right peace